The president has also pledged to invest in infrastructure and to renegotiate trade deals, and uh, changes to either of those could ripple through the massive construction equipment building industry. Jane Wells reports tonight from Las Vegas. The equipment manufacturing industry is a $160 billion business in the U.S., but it's been pretty lackluster. Construction hasn't been strong enough to require a lot of new machinery. Oil and gas have not been great. And down on the farm, well, farmers say they're not making any money. But they're gambling on a better future in Vegas at Con Expo, the largest gathering of large machines held every three years. Everyone's talking about an infrastructure bill. Could be a trillion dollar investment. So we're looking at a year that could be a 5% increase. The critical thing first is it's got to pass and then it has to be funded. And uh, in the past, a lot of times they have passed but not funded it on a long-term basis. But even as manufacturers tout ever smarter and more efficient machines, they even have a 3D printed excavator here. All the hope for potential infrastructure spending is being offset by concern over a border tax and maybe a trade war. 35% of our business depends on foreign trade. So that would just be catastrophic for this business. It would be devastating. I mean, these are large global exporting companies that rely on the rest of the world for their sales. For example, most of our competitors, Caterpillar, Deer, source their, their engines as we do overseas. Bobcat is owned by Korea-based Doosan, and North American President Rich Goldsberry says his bosses are a little confused by Washington. So when I when I talk to some of our Korean executives, they say, well, can we, can we build a wall? Can we help build a wall? And I go, it isn't quite that simple. Deer CEO Sam Allen said he would tell President Trump yes on cutting taxes and regulations, but be careful about trade. Retaliate against others, but don't put barriers up that then cause them to retaliate against us. You see, even though most of Deere's sales are domestic, many of its customers are farmers who export crops to China, Canada, and Mexico. And if a trade war hurts farmers, it hurts Deere. And the feeling at this convention, it could hurt everybody. For Nightly Business Report, Jane Wells, Las Vegas.